Thank y'all so much for coming to watch my video. If you enjoyed seeing how my new apartment looks, then comment down below and congratulate me on my new apartment. It's so cute and it's all mine. Hey y'all, happy Monday. I'm going to tour a It was hard for me to get up out of bed this morning, but however, I made be in the car. We whipping it up. I'm only going to tour like two apartments today, I think. So it's nothing too crazy, but this will be a two-day video. So tomorrow I do have more apartments to go tour just to get a feel, you know what I'm saying? Your girl is trying to move, baby. And this is my first time ever touring apartments, y'all. So I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of scared just a little bit. I don't know why, but it's like, I don't know. Tell me why when I was on the way to this apartment, I packed some donuts with me, right? Yeah, bought some donuts like maybe two weeks ago. But you know, I am I never even know what day it is anymore. Shouts out to COVID, shouts out to quarantine because baby, I don't ask me what day it is. I only know today is Monday because I have to tour a place. <laughs> Quite literally. I'm pissed as fuck because why is it mold on it? Tiny, tiny dot right here. This little guy right there. So now I can't eat my donut. And I packed two of them with my fat ass. Now I have to go find some food after this. Like I'm really hungry. Hopefully they can have like little snacks. You know when you go tour a place? You know when you go tour like houses or apartments then they kind of have like a little snack refrigerator inside the unit that you're touring? No, just me? Okay. Ooh, I like this island right here. You get that in every apartment home, nothing changes. The really? The only thing that changes is square footage. Okay. And a bathroom. I love how big this mirror is. Okay. This bathroom is nice. And this will be the laundry oh, wow. dryer. Okay. And is this like um, updated thermostat yeah. in every, um, okay. Oh wow. This is nice. And this is a queen size bed in here? Okay, yeah. Cause I was wondering like if my bed would fit. I have a queen size bed. Oh, okay. If you do a king, you just move the nice things over a little bit uh -huh. to that much and it will fit. It will fit. This is a big room. And a nice size walk-in. Y'all look at this walk-in. No, y'all need to see how big this is. It's so big. This is perfect. I love this apartment. <laughs> I'm not gonna okay. lie. <laughs> if you didn't take it on top for you, get the vaulted ceilings, you get an additional window over top of that. This is really nice. And the flooring is like this in every, yeah, every yeah, you did say that. The only thing that would change is the floor size. Okay, and what is this? That's the HVAC closet. HVAC, okay. And this is the coat closet. Okay. Would you like a snack or something to drink? Please, I'm starving. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna check. Oh wow. Cranberry fruit punch. Um, what do I want, y'all? I'm gonna just get a water. Thank you so much. Exactly the same. There's nothing different. You're gonna go right here. Oh wow. My man would love this. <laughs> okay. I'm back from touring that apartment, y'all. It was so cute in there. I wish I would have recorded more, but I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda nervous, like I said. But there's literally nothing to be nervous about. I'm gonna record too much because of safety reasons. So, um, yeah, I think now I'm about to go look at those other apartments that I told y'all I saw earlier. The apartment was like 1900. It had, I think, a cheaper one for like 18. My budget is like 16 to 18 around there, something like that. But when she start talking about the rent going up monthly and how you have to pay for parking and a garage and valet parking, I mean valet trash and shit. Girl, you lost me. <laughs> you lost me. Fancy, thank you. Ooh, I love the cabinets. 
big in here. You said this is a two bedroom, right? So this is the exact layout of the one bed. Okay. I really like those cabinets. Nice carpet in here. Oh, so it's like a Jack and Jill, kind of. Oh, I like this. These are big. I never really seen them with the. It was just like an updated version. Pantry. <laughs> oh, walk out closet. This will be your master bedroom. This will be your Can I look at it? This will be your master. Master. I like this class. I mean, this shower. It's like a standing shower. Or whatever. Nice size closet. It's actually big. Okay, I see what exactly what you mean. I love how open it is. This is really cute. I like this. This is so cute. Make my YouTube videos right here. Got the good lighting, cute background. another apartment hopefully I really like this apartment because one of the apartments that I really like and hope that I'm able to move into that's why I'm going to tour it first wish a bitch good luck because I really do want to move into this apartment just from what I've seen on the net like the reviews are good the rent is not expensive it's cute in there from what I've seen from what I've seen so yeah I'm about to just go tour that place Bitch, why am I in the area and I see uh heroin? You know how they, they be shooting up? I see a whole heroin center with endless bad cars in front of it. Let me not even say how far it is from the place, but y'all, <laughs> maybe, you know, just maybe, a little bit, should have listened to my mom. Turn left. Because she definitely told me that she don't know about this area, even though she far the fuck away in Texas, she know about this area, and she said she don't think that's a good area. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe the intermediate area of the you know the location of the apartment like you know the grounds of the apartment and stuff maybe just maybe that's a good you know surrounding area but the area overall itself isn't good i don't know bitch who this fuck i ain't never seen this shit y'all wish me luck so yeah i'm here and i'm excited because like the vicinity of the the area it looks good like i'm not gonna lie like it's it's not concerning. It looks decent over here. Like, it looks clean, all of that. But, we gonna see. This is really the apartment that I want. Like, I want to live here. Okay, so I just went into the leasing office and it's locked. Like, is that shit closed? I'm, I'm so confused. And they've been texting me all morning, like, making sure that I'm 
Like they even sent me, hold on. So I just got off the phone with the leasing agent or some shit. Like I told her I'm here for an apartment tour and she said, okay, give me one second and hung up. Don't fuck, don't piss me off, bitch. Like, what is that? Okay, give me one second and hang up. You don't say shit, you just hang the fuck up. And then I go in here and it's hella construction and shit going on. Caution sign, oh God. What's going on for real? Bitch, are you serious? We should have recorded that whole fucking conversation. Like, you can't be serious. All right. Let me just take a moment. Let me just really take a moment. So, I go inside, right? Just just two, literally two seconds ago, I just went inside. And the lady who I was on the phone with was waiting for me at the door. So I get in, mind you, remember I told y'all it's a lot of construction and stuff going on? She gonna tell me I'm so sorry, but unfortunately we're not available to do any tours like any times like okay so you see all the construction around like yeah so it's because we had a fire like a couple like maybe in august why don't you know when the fire was we had a fire in august so that's why you know we're not available to do any tours and that's why you know the construction and everything that's going on and here you go here's here's me Oh, really? Because I've been getting, like, so many emails all morning about my tour. Like, like they've been keeping me updated. I can show you right now. And she's like, oh, yeah, um, Ivy? Yeah, um, that's our virtual assistant. So, yeah, it's automated. And, you know, so, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You couldn't tell me that on the phone, bitch. Like, why did you, why did you need to see me? Now I feel like because, okay. It's a lot of palm color people out here. <laughs> no shade, no offense to y'all, but that's all I've seen. You know, I haven't seen my my people yet. So part of me, I don't want to take it there, but part of me feels like the bitch just <sighs> like you needed to see me to tell me that you couldn't tell me on the phone. You had to see me see that I was this color and decided to tell me that. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. Like, and then what does the tours have to do with anything? Because if the leasing office, if that place had the fire, what does that have to do with the rest of your tenants in the build? Like, it's about four different build. All right, bad impression, bad first impression. So I guess this is um not gonna be my apartment. Like, then I even asked her. I'm like, okay, so if they're not available for tour right now, like, when do you think it'll be available? And she's like. I don't even know. Hopefully, fingers crossed, October, but bitch, I'm trying to move it now. Not now, but I'm trying to move in December, and it's like, what do you mean? Now I'm mad. Now I need to call my boyfriend. No skin flow. Hello? Yeah. Are you busy? What do you mean? What's up? Can I talk to you real quick? I'm upset. I'm upset because, okay, so I drove all the way out here to the only apartment that's been, like, contacting me and staying in touch with me up until now. The leasing office, I go to the door. The doors are locked, and I can see through the leasing office, and it's, like, cautions, tape, and construction and shit going on. So I call the number that's in my email. Open to, like, selling right now? Like, I don't get it. That's what I'm saying. I don't fucking get it either. Is my apartment here? Would I not be able to get an apartment here? And like, if so, like, when would I be able to get an apartment here? Cause that don't make sense. Like, are you not trying to get the sale? Okay, y'all. So I'm about to go back in here. According to my man, he said I need to ask questions. So I'm gonna keep y'all on the camera, okay? A zero managed community. This call may be recorded for quality assurance and training for. We're sorry we missed you. Please leave a message and we'll return your call as soon as possible. So now she's not answering the phone? Okay. Like, bitch, you couldn't have gone that far. You answered on the second ring when I called the very first time. Now I'm calling a second time and you don't answer and I was knocking on the door? Like, this is definitely a race thing. <laughs> bitch. Yeah, look who I'm home with. I was eating. 
Look at my baby face. How long what you did? I was hooping. Nigga scratched me. Oh. Hey y'all. I'm at the Chick-fil-A line. I'm making breakfast. I'm so happy. It's 10.25. I will not believe me, bitch. I just did the dash for this freaking Chick-fil-A. And it's about four cars in front of me. I pulled up at 10.25. So if I get up there and she try to tell me, oh, we're not serving breakfast no more, I'm going to beat her ass. Literally. And y'all, Chick-fil-A is giving out free breakfast. Like, I got a whole reward. Um, you could just do sweet and, I mean, Polynesian, I'm sorry. And could I get a small hash brown with that? You the type I like, mama. I might buy you ice, mama. I haven't had Chick-fil-A breakfast in so long. Thank you. So I got my hash browns, and then I got me a chicken biscuit. But I like the spicy chicken sandwiches. Just got some hot sauce so I can put it on there and give it that effect. Mm -mm -mm. Listen, y'all hear that crunch? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye y'all. Hey y'all. I'm done getting ready. This body kind dress is so Back again, bad bitch today. I did my makeup ever so slightly. I fixed my hair, I gave myself a middle edge, defined my part, gave pretty bad bitch. It's really cause I gotta take pictures today. Also, maybe today will go better just because I'm pretty and cute. I don't know. <laughs> this is considered open parking, so each lease holder with a valid driver's license and registration receives one free parking sticker. The only spaces we charge for is if you need a reserve space. So this is the Alco 480 square feet. That's um, so nice. This one, but this is the only one we have, so we want to make sure we can show it to you. Um, all of them are going to have the same open space. Okay. Um, so with the Alco, the Alco always looks bigger than the standard simply because it does not have an aisle in the floor. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering. This entire building are all alcove, so they're all 480 square feet in this entire building. Balcony. A lot of sunlight. Yep. And the larger one bedroom, uh -huh. the balconies are off the bedroom. Washer and dryer. Yep. Washer and dryer. Also, every apartment has its own hot water heater mm -hmm. because you're individually metered. Oh, nice. So this is the 550 square foot sandwich one bedroom. And this is obviously with the island. You can put bar stools around them. It's a functioning island. It has an electrical outlet so you can actually put appliances up here if you need to. You still have these large drawers here. Extra storage so you can use that. Plenty of cabinet space mm -hmm. lower and higher as well as you can store stuff on top of the cabinet. And the bedroom is where you gain the space at versus the last one. We'll sleep a queen size bed with two nightstands and a dresser. Really? Okay, that's perfect because I have a queen. Now, this balcony is just a private balcony. Yeah. Brick walls on both sides. Washer and dryer. Closet are uh, larger than the last closet we just looked at. Now, a lot of residents will add shelves. Oh, those apartments are so cute. I just made another appointment for three o'clock at another um, apartment. But the apartment I just left, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I low key really like it. Like, I like the apartment itself, not really so much the building, like, at least the inside. The price is pricing, okay? Like, they talk about 1500 and it's a nice one bed, one bath, and like, I pay for my own water and electricity. Typically, sometime apartment buildings provide the water and electricity throughout the entire apartment building but then you have your own like in unit like water heater or whatever so basically your water and electricity will range anywhere from like 20 to 30 a month bitch what y'all not it being so hot outside my titties is sweating <laughs> baby i ain't even getting mm -hmm. hi, hi. hi. you looking for a one bedroom mm -hmm. okay here's a folder of information Okay. 
I can show you the model unit. The model unit is just a two bedroom. It's supposed to be really good. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Do you understand? I'm so glad. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Do you understand? Do you have any availability next week for a tour? Um, yeah, I should. <sighs> What a waste of my time. What a waste of my time. It's not giving. Not giving good impression. It's giving she don't know her job. Like, she don't know shit. She just work here. And then on top of that, it's dirty. Like, one bedroom is dirty. Talk about maintenance is in here. Like, they've been in there for 40 days. Why is it still not clean? Then the two bedroom, I did all that walking just for you to say, oh, they changed the locks. So, sorry about that too. I don't want to tour her no more. I'm actually about to just get up and leave. Like, that's actually what I'm about to do. And what I did, bitch, I left. Like, I'm just playing, y'all. I don't have the balls. That's, that That would be so rude. Now she's telling me, oh, there's a one bed available back in the same location, the very first location that we went to. And now she said I could follow her to her, to the place with her. Dark. So I just went to the apartment that y'all just saw. I don't know if I already updated y'all. I don't think I did. But I don't really like that apartment simply because like she was saying like it's carpet in every unit. I can't give it that. And it was giving like a little outdated like not to be bougie or nothing because like my budget is not even bitch you can't even afford to be bougie right now but however the very first apartment that i toured today was around the same price and that's way better amenity wise utility wise all of that and it was a lot of bugs in there too so i just i don't want no buggies or nothing in my apartment i can't do the bugs like that that bug well, can have that fucking apartment and bitch i'll be leaving in my car now i'm at a new apartment complex it's a self-guided tour so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just driving around trying to find like the area that the lady gave me on the map Ooh. this is my house now y'all look it is so cute Okay, when you walk right here, it's the little coat closet or whatever. Probably like HVAC or some shit. Now, here's the kitchen area. Here's the living area. I like the big windows because that means like a lot of lighting will come in. And it's decent size. Oh, I got a balcony too. I really like that it's on the first floor. But this apartment is already out of my budget. Like. The kitchen, the cabinets are cute. I mean, a freezer, refrigerator. This is cute. Like, I really like this little wall right here, too. Because when I'm cooking, I'll be feeling like, I don't know. I don't really like my back turn, but this wall makes me feel a little bit more better. They got the deep sink, 
I really like the deep sink and they got the pull down. Okay, y'all fancy old. <laughs> so this is the bedroom. It's a nice size. It could definitely fit my queen. Now the closet, not so much. But it'll do what it needs to do. And then you walk out and the bathroom is right here. They got the double sink bathroom, shower, the deep tub, a toilet, and the cabinets are just so cute. Like, I can see it already. Like, get ready with me in my first apartment. I would really like to move here. I'm about to take some pictures, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I do need to take some pictures in this dress and for this hair company. Trick y'all and be like, I got the keys, bitch. <laughs> I wish. And they got the end washer and dryer end unit. I see some bugs. All right, y'all. So I just finished my two hours photo taking session. Um, now I'm done. This is the tour of my apartment. My new apartment thank y'all so much for coming to watch my video if you enjoyed seeing how my new apartment looks then comment down below and congratulate me on my new apartment it's so cute and it's all mine <sighs> can't wait to say that Shit. good morning y'all happy sunday y'all i know the last time that i saw y'all was a long ass time ago but I've decided to turn this video into like a weekly vlog because today I'm gonna go and do some fun thing. Today I'm supposed to be going to like a park or like a lake area with Maya and we're supposed to just be journaling and like letting go of things and releasing some things because baby, I've been going through it, okay? Like, like. I'm gonna go through it. And I'm gonna get into that. Like, I'm gonna explain everything to y'all. Like, what's been going on. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. And then, so today's Sunday. And then, Tuesday, I think I have a client. So I have to go to work. And then, Wednesday, I'm going to try Pilates. Oh, I'm excited for that because, like, girl, all the girlies, you know, Pilates. And I wanna get into it. Like, I wanna start toning my body and stuff so i'm gonna go and do a free trial hopefully like i'm on the list for wednesday i just woke up it's 10 23 i just wanted to check in with y'all i'm in my man's bed i live with my man now y'all all right come on let's get up y'all so why i knew i smelled some food upstairs in cameron's room right look at this his mommy has a food uh, like and I'm making me a little boy day. Guys, I love boy days. But y'all, I knew when I woke up this morning. I'm like, dang, it's not like a school it's school morning. Like, ooh, like this is reminding me of a school morning and my mama would cook and it's still dark outside because it's fall. And then it's, about to, it's raining and it's drizzling a little bit. So then I'm like, no. I gotta be some food. This is us post, um, what is it again? Trauma release. <laughs> yeah, trauma release and energy release and letting yeah. go. We just exactly letting go and accepting things. We have let go some things and, and we feel great. Birthing new things in ourselves and we have a new first start. I'm excited. Me I'm too. Like, yeah. <laughs> I feel good. Like I said, I feel like I could conquer the world right now. Oh, love in my room. <laughs> Bitch. I literally haven't been in here in a month. Like, wow, this is crazy. Well, can't wait to back all this shit up. 